So I was able to pick up one of these little camp burners pretty cheaply from my local hardware shop and I've decided that I'm going to pull it to pieces and get out the components I need for another project that I've got in mind. I only need the controls and the regulator and it comes apart fairly easily, it's only held together with screws. Once I've got it all disassembled it's just a matter of chopping down the front cover to a smaller size. Once I've done that it's just a matter of reassembling it so that I can make use of the uh, components. That then gives me a box that I can actually use to actually hold the gas bottle in place uh, and control and regulate the flame. Quick test to make sure it's working. That's about as big a flame as you can get without it blowing out. But with an extension hose uh, you can get a much larger flame. Right, so what I'm working on here is a little side project. Um, I've had it in my head for ages, uh, ever since I actually set up the gas bottle um, and made my burner head for the uh, forge. forge. I was using uh, a mini air compressor, this one is off uh, an old uh, paint sprayer. The interesting thing about it though is as it cycles, it cycles air through at um, a machine gun sort of sounding speed. I'll show you what I mean. So that's the air. I can't really see it very well, but I'm sure you can hear it cycling through. I also have a, a different one of these machines that cycles in a very similar way, and it's 12 volt, and it's used for pumping up tyres. Now, what I'm hoping to do is to actually make a quiet muzzle flash simulator. So I've got this basically set up as a test, and I'm planning on, if it works, uh, making a, a minigun set up to actually go with the Terminator. Um, and possibly even the future uh, minigun which was, had a much larger bore and threw a much larger flame. Um, so this is just a quick test to show you how it's working so far. I'll lay this down because it works more effectively once it's in that position. It's designed to work that way. So gas on. Um, it regulates through the small hose. Okay. Uh, I've basically just got an extension hose there sort of thing for the sake of giving the, the flame a bit of distance. It's a very low temperature flame, it's only a butane flame. Okay, and that's what it's like. Um, that's what it's like, obviously, with just the gas on its own. If, however, we add air to the mix, and what I've got here is some of that hose, uh, and that acts like a, a, an air regulator through the thinner hose, and then into the pipe, and then to the thicker pipe, up the end here though, there's probably about an inch worth of the larger pipe in the smaller. You can just see that there, where it's set backwards a little bit into the pipe to give it a, an extra area to breathe. So when we turn the air on and add the air to the mix, this is what we get. Now at the moment I'm literally just holding it in place to actually get a bit seeing at the other end. Now once we get it tuned to the right level, we get that nice, flaming sort of muzzle flash effect that we're getting. And this is where the tuning of it's going to have to come in. At the moment that's self-sustaining because I'm keeping the flame alive. It will blow out, and I'll show you that in a second, what I mean by that. Um, to sustain this, I'm going to have to add a glow plug to the end of the assembly, but it should give me, once I get it to that high point, you'll actually hear the, the tone of the flame change. Let's see if I can get it, and you'll know it'll, it'll probably blow out, but I'll try it. You can just about hear that tune, there it goes now. That's what I'm really after. That's it, and it's gone out. So again, you can see the assembly of how I've got it set up. Um, I'm planning on putting um, I'm planning on putting a glow plug either on the top or the bottom there, just to actually um, make sure that works. I'm not chasing a bang out of it. I'm not looking for noise out of it. Um, I want something that actually looks quite effective and, and produces the result in terms of muzzle flash but without the, the noise factor associated with it. So that at the moment I'm calling it a successful test. There's still a lot of tweaking to do. I uh, haven't even started on the minigun as part of the, the Terminator project as yet. 
Um, it's just had a day here where things were a little quieter than I wanted to be and I thought I'd actually uh, give that an idea or a test. As, as I said, I've had it in my head for a, a few years now since, uh, since I first did the burner and saw how it fired um, and had that sort of machine gun sort of element to it. So I thought that might be worth pursuing. Anyway, that's just a quick update. Uh, if I do any more with that, uh, or if you have any interest on how I've set it up, hopefully I've explained it fairly well in this short video, uh, that you can probably pursue a similar sort of idea yourself. Um, it definitely needs air added to the mix. Uh, the thing will burn on a flame on its own. Uh, it won't produce that blue muzzle flash sort of flame without, without the air or the oxygen added. Uh, I would think that you could do a similar sort of idea with oxygen, but if you did oxygen you would actually get a pop. Um, and that's not what I'm after in this particular sort of setup. Um, I did also try to use uh, a piezo igniter to, um, to, to sustain the flame, uh, but I found that the air oxygen mix wasn't sufficient um, to actually maintain it. So I'm definitely going to have to go for something like a glow pug to actually uh, keep the flame alive. But anyway, that's the update for this time, guys. Um, hope that's something that'll look interesting to you, or maybe you can get some use out of it yourself. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.